how do you make consistency of vision carry through on three radically different productions? So when Campbell University first approached us uh, about, about their video needs, there were three specific things they were looking for. Uh, and all three videos were different in scale, in production, uh, and, and overall there were three different experiences for us uh, that were interesting to produce. The dilemma was they needed to find ways to introduce their new president in a bunch of different settings. Uh, and so in sitting down with them we were able to kind of boil it down to three video needs that they had. Uh, and so working with the rest of the team here at Amazing Studios and uh, the incredible communications department at Campbell, uh, it w uh, we got the opportunity to create uh, what ultimately would become the three productions for Campbell University. The first video was a little bit of a quicker piece. Uh, they wanted to introduce uh, Bradley Creed, the new president, through uh, his first speech that he gave to the students. And so we were there that day filming in a very kind of run and gun style, multiple shooters, a little bit, you know, on the run. Right after he gave the full speech, we, we pulled him to the side and we did kind of a shorter, smaller version that we used as our voiceover. And that was really helpful because it gave us a direction. It wasn't, this wasn't just a recap video, now it was actually a, a great speech and a great message underneath that could drive the imagery that, that we were showing that day. This was a piece where we went in with a, with a very clear idea uh, of mixing the run and gun stuff with some more produced slow motion shots and kind of a, a highly stylized sort of feel and then it just didn't work when we got it into post. When you pre-plan something like this you may have a vision of what it's going to look like in your head and you're going to shoot what that vision is but it doesn't always work out that way in post. Uh, I think specifically there was these, uh, this sequence that I had in my head of him slow, uh, in slow motion walking up to the front and it looked fantastic. I mean, ultimately what I saw in my head was captured on camera, but when we paired that with the messaging and when we paired that with the rest of the footage that was captured, it ultimately didn't fit. So the final video uh, went through a lot of different versions, but it went through it very, very quickly. The second video was something that we kind of uh, played around with a little bit more. Campbell University had an orientation coming up that Dr. Creed wasn't going to be able to attend, but they still wanted to be able to get his messaging from the first one to the students coming to the second one. We wanted to find a way to make it more interesting for the students than just having a talking head on screen speaking to them. So the idea came up to do a Snapchat inspired video, being that's what everybody has on their phones. And so we started thinking, all right, can we capture this in 5K? Can we capture this with the Reds? But ultimately the decision was made that the best way to do it was gonna be actually shoot it with a cell phone. We shot it on an iPhone 6 Plus, and uh, it was our first time recording a, one of our you know, actual client pieces on a phone. Uh, but we, we went out, we lit it as if we were lighting uh, any of our normal productions, and we, we did sound the way we normally would. The only difference was uh, the camera, it was a, it was a camera phone. Uh, and then that piece involved a lot more post work um, in, in actually taking it, making the Snapchat interface, making everything work. We put a green mat on the phone uh, and then shot that with our reds uh, and then took that back in post, keyed out the green, tracked in the original footage onto it so that you could get a nice clean feed. Uh, and then we could punch in, because we were shooting in such high resolution, we were able to punch in. We also had Brandon doing the little Snapchat style sketches that would go along with what President Creed was saying. It, it, so it's interesting that on a piece like that, that looks fairly simple, it looks like it's a, a Snapchat video. It actually took a lot of work and a lot of time, a lot of ingenuity to figure out how to make it look the way it should. The third piece we had to do is a little bit more of what we consider our standard. It's our high-level production, more of a cinematic piece, a story piece. And that involved a lot more work. Anytime you're approaching a project that is uh, scripted, the first thing you have to think is, okay, what is the story that I'm trying to tell? Uh, and that story was difficult because Campbell has a lot of things that they are, are and also are wanting to become. And so it's finding a way to encapsulate both the old and the new and the upcoming all in a succinct minute and a half story. What we had to do was, was talk to the client and find out what Campbell University was to them and what the message was for the future. Uh, because we weren't just creating a, a video, we really were creating something that would be the voice of Campbell uh, for this next year and for this new chapter with, with a new president and, and all the things that are happening. We shot over a 10-day period 
Um, it took us about five days of shooting uh, across multiple locations using everything from our most high-end cameras to a drone to uh, pretty much every trick we, we had, uh, every tool we had in the toolbox. One of the things that kind of excites me when I'm on set is finding a way to get a shot that nobody else can get. Something that's different, something that mm, it's hard to do. And we got a couple of those in this piece, but one really comes to mind. So I think my favorite single shot in this piece was uh, a shot we did in the pharmacy, the student-run uh, pharmacy at Campbell. The idea came up as we were kind of workshopping and figuring out what to do, to do a move called a handoff. Uh, we have a system called the DJI Ronin, and the, the Ronin is this really amazing gimbal system that keeps the camera steady while being a very tight, compact package, unlike your traditional Steadicam, which is huge and very, very expensive and difficult to operate. The Ronin is a much smaller, easier to use uh, uh, device. And it was small enough that we could actually pass the entire rig through a window uh, in the pharmacy, through the, through the service window. So we choreographed this shot to have a man walking up to the window. The camera was actually passed all the way through from one operator. Peter began the move. He passed the camera over to me. I picked it up on the other side of the room walking backwards. And with the choreography, the way we blocked the shot and the way everything worked out, it creates this really trippy, uh, almost visual effect looking shot of being able to come back through solid objects like the counter and the window and all this kind of stuff. Uh, but in reality, it was actually a very, very simple shot, and it's, uh, it's one of my favorites we've done, period, here at the studio, and definitely my favorite uh, in the Campbell project. When we got into post, uh, the first thing that we did was we laid in the footage that we had to see does the flow work. And what we quickly realized was, while yes, the flow worked, it was going to take some tweaking. Um, Cliff did a masterful job of pulling out the, the right clips, but then it came down to he and I spent a lot of time figuring out where do we cut this thing? How long, because a lot of the shots were shot in such a way that they were designed to be one shots or longer takes. Where do you start on those though and where do you end uh, to make it work and make it make sense? So that piece also involved an original music score composed here in-house by Dustin Owens, our art director and, uh, and uh, music composer. Um, we originally edited the piece to temp music that we stock tracks that we had downloaded, but then Dustin came in and wrote a really powerful, great piece for that. Um, and so that was an extra layer of polish and, and professionalism and, and production that, that really, I think, uh, helped that piece be what it is. The color process on this was, was quite extensive. Cliff spent three days, um, late nights here, coloring. Um, the color grading process is something that is very near and dear to my heart as an editor and, and as a colorist. Um, but it's especially challenging when you're working with red footage like we were on this project because it, it records a very flat image, which is what you want, but it's also uh, its own challenge in making sure that you get all of the character and the depth and the color back into that very, very flat image to really make it look cinematic and you know, feel, feel the way you want it to. Now that the piece has you know, been out on the road and people have been seeing it and it's, it's you know, uh, stood with President Creed as he has shared his vision for Camel in the future, I really think it's been a, a great uh, piece for the client and also a great piece for us in terms of, of the lessons learned internally and um, just the, the diversity of the project in having to do three things that are so incredibly different um, and, and make them all kind of coalesce and all have their own message and all feel the right way while being unique and, and while all having the mark of a professionalism and quality that, that we require. So Campbell was a, was a really fun project for us. It was a challenging project, but you know, that's, that's kind of what we enjoy. And uh, I, I hope people, uh, I hope people like it and I hope it, it does what it needs to do.